Okay, champs, here's how it works. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The winner puts those answers in the correct order. In the fastest time will be our next player. Audience, we need complete silence here. Thank you very much. Here's that question. Put the following European countries in geographical order, starting with the easternmost and moving west. Andorra, Portugal, Luxembourg, Austria. Okay, let's see who got that answer in the correct order. Starting with the easternmost moving west, here it is. Austria, Luxembourg, Andorra, Portugal. That's the right order. Who got it right in the fastest time? The winner, Michael Schotterton. Hey, Mike, come on, let's go it. Michael Shutterly from Richmond, Virginia, was really our first big one. It won $500,000 last August 24th. It was quite a night. It was. Yeah, it was very exciting for all of us. Now, once you win the big bucks, do you still watch the show at home? Every night. Every Just night? Every night that it's on, yes. With Even your, sometimes when it's not on, on tape. You know. <laughs> With your children? With the kids, yeah. yes. And you're accompanied by your wife, Margaret. Nice to see you again, Margaret. Nice to nice be nice back. Nice to have you here. What charity are you playing for, Michael? Uh, the Boy Scouts. Boy America. Scouts. Yeah. Incidentally, your boys are part of uh, the organization? Uh, my oldest is. He's already a life scout uh, working on Eagle. So uh -huh. uh, we're pretty pleased with what it does for him and what it can do for other children. Well, actually, you, you spent some of your, your last winnings on the Boy Scouts, didn't you? Right. We were trying to get a truck, because um, it's a pretty big troop, and to carry a lot of their gear on some of the longer uh, camping trips, they had real problems with it. So we were able to get a, a truck, and I was able to kind of seed the fund. Uh, for that, or the millionaire helped me seed the fund for that, and we were able to get our truck. And you also went shirt shopping at Walmart's. Oh, yes. Uh, not for this shirt, but the one I had on uh, yesterday, which wasn't very good for me, so, uh, but yes. Oh, you changed your shirt today. I did change my shirt. Right, I've been wearing that green one ever since, but... Well, I couldn't tell the difference, to tell you the truth. But you're here, you know the rules, you know the lifelines. 50-50, ask the audience, phone a friend. So if you're ready, Michael, why don't we do it? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. He is really a veteran of this show, so let's begin now with $100. Someone who is bragging about his accomplishments is said to be blowing his own what? Balloon, nose, horn, gasket. I hope it's horn, let's see. Yes, the right answer, You're blowing your own horn. $200. A cheap coffee shop is commonly called which of the following? Grimy knife, greasy spoon, dirty fork, Sticky placement. Greasy spoon. Greasy spoon, the right answer for 200 $300. The face of which currently circulating U.S. coin features a president with a beard. Is it the penny, nickel, dime, quarter? The face is right on the penny. Hey. Yes, it's the penny for $300. $500. Which of the following cities is nicknamed Beantown? Boston, Boise, Baton Rouge, Detroit. So I went to law school in Boston. Boston. Final? Yeah, final answer. Boston, the right answer for $500. For a thousand. What color are the feathers on a bald eagle's head? Red, white, brown, black. Oh, they're white. White feathers, you got it right. Okay, we got through the first five just fine, going for $2,000, and here it comes. Which of these pastas is shaped like a bow tie? Vermicelli, penne, tagliatelle, farfalle. I think I'd like to ask the audience for help on this one. All right, audience, Michael needs your help. On your keypads using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Sixty-five percent say Farfalle. I'd like to go with the audience and say Farfalle as well. Final answer? It's final answer. It's the right answer for $2,000. We'll take a break, we'll come back. He's going for 4000 
Botticelli was Pope Pius XII, and Sarto was Pius X. I'll say Albino Luciani. My answer would be A. Albino Luciani. Albino Luciani. That's your final answer. That is my final answer. Half million dollars. Half million dollars. And you won it! <laughs> So many people talked about that particular question and your answer. It was a great one. Thank you. Then, of course, you walked away at 500,000, right? Right. You were out of lifelines at that point. Out of lifelines. Yeah. All right, Michael, uh, we're doing pretty good here. You've got uh, two lifelines left. We're going for $4,000. Nine away from the million. Let's play. <laughs> For $4,000, which of these lakes does not form a border between Canada and the United States? Lake Erie, Lake Huron, Lake Michigan, Lake Superior. Great lengths. Uh, Lake Michigan C. Lake Michigan C, final answer? Final answer. Lake Michigan, the right answer for $4,000. $8,000. The 1972 film Lady Sings the Blues is about what legendary singer? Lena Horne, Billie Holiday, Dinah Washington, Bessie Smith. And it's Billie Holiday, B. Final? Final answer. Billie Holiday, the right singer. Lady sings the blues. <laughs> Moving right along now to the $16,000 question. What is the name of the male reproductive organ in a flower? Pistol? Sepal? Corolla? Stamen? Use a 50-50 on that. Sure, computer, please take away two of the wrong answers for Michael leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. Pistil Stamen. I think I'll phone a friend now. Want to phone a friend? Who do you want to call? Uh, astronomer John. He's an astronomer. It's his hobby. All right, AT&T, right, get John on the line, please. See if he can help us. John Reed, sir. Hello, John. Regis Philbin calling from New York. How are you? All right. Good. I'm here with uh, Michael Shutterly. He needs your help. Can't see us right now, but he's going for 16000 okay? When he comes right. on the line, he will read a question and two possible answers. One of them is the right answer. Michael, it's all yours. 30 seconds starting now. John, what is the name of the male reproductive organ in a flower? Two choices. Is it the pistol or is it the stamen? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> How much time we got? Nine seconds. Um, pretty sure it's the pistol. Are you sure? Absolutely. About 90%. Did I hear him typing? Well, that's possible. Who's he typing to? We're trying to ask him a question. Who knows? Well, he's one of these multitasking types of people. Does a lot of things very well. A lot of things at the same time. At the same time. Um, he's probably busy at work right now. Um, I'll go with John with the pistol. Maybe he was calling. Maybe he was typing a message to one dot com flowers or something. <laughs> something. Yeah. All right. He's on the internet. I'm sure, and that's perfectly legal. So now, what's going to be your answer? Uh, pistol. Will be my pistol. Answer. Final answer. Final answer. Well, it may be legal, but it's not right. It, it, the statement is the right answer. Michael, I'm sorry you go back down to one thousand dollars, but thank you very much, and it was thank nice you. having you here on the show. Oh boy. Well, on my screen, it said that the pistol was the female reproductive organ. A tough luck. It just goes to show you that however sure your phone friends are and however they are finding the answer, you can't hold.